Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Chill of all ages, Hollywood Showdown here, about to give you another Injustice God's Money video. In this video, we're going to be reviewing the Black Diamond from the multiplayer season as the season's about to end in about three minutes. So, you guys can see here, we are streaming on Twitch live, so those of you guys that are on Twitch will get to see this a little bit early. If you don't have me followed on Twitch, there is links in the description, and... Just go search Hollywood Show and you can find it really easily. So, the Black Diamond is a new gear item as of patch 2.16 that has been released. And you can see all the way in 5% you can get a Black Diamond. So we're going to take a look and see what kind of score you need in the leaderboards while we have a little bit of time. But it does look like they banned that guy with the Netherrealm icon that had like 15 million. So, that was good to see. But 6.4 million is really not that much. That's really about... 30 out, 32 hours of farming, and less if you get defensive wins. So we're going to take a quick look, and yeah, 1,025 wins. You can do 7 wins in about 10 minutes easily, so roughly 5 to 12 hours of work, depending on how fast you win the teams, and 5% is 409,000 score for this season, so you can kind of see that numbers have not gotten to the 200,000 people farming multiplayer that it used to be, but you still get about a healthy... Maybe 120, 130,000 people. So, all together, 11,058 people will get this black diamond. So, just to uh, give you guys a little bit of prep work, we did shatter some gear. That way, we would be prepped to max this, max this gear item out. We got 675 red shards and 800 of the rest. So, and I did peek on Android. Unfortunately, it is the mother box season this week. Netherrealm still has no idea how to run multiplayer. So we get the black diamond, we get some random two-star gear items. And yeah, another realm, if you're watching this video, please run Flashpoint Deathstroke and Blackest Night Superman. You guys are ridiculous. So we're going to go to the back of the list here with the black diamond. So, damage boosts to special 2. Any special attack applies 2% dot, which also drains 12% enemy power. Power generation increase and evolved. If an opponent tags out, they receive damage equal to 10% of the equipped character's damage. That's really interesting, and I imagine it goes up when you raise it. So, this is a really interesting gear item. This is definitely one that would be good for anybody that uses special twos. Like, for example, Blackest Night Martian Manhunter, you really use the Soul Survivor a lot. Um, Arkham Knight Batman can use it to do a lot of damage. Arkham Origins Batman will probably use this all the time, but... Any attack applies dot which drains enemy power. So this basically gives you power drain on a character that doesn't have it. That's pretty interesting. And if it does it over time like Kandak Black Adam, that'll be amazing. So, 1% damage boost to special 2 will put it on par with the Ibba Stick at 30%. And it'll be up to a 6% dot. So it's on par with the LexCorp helmet. And power generation goes up 1%, so 30%. That's pretty strong. And you do see that it does take every shard to upgrade it. But yeah, this is a pretty powerful gear item. You can also combine it with the Ibisic. You're going to get some crazy numbers. Like, for example, Ares with the God Smack. You could use this gear item in the Ibisic, and it'd be absolutely strong. And I also wonder if it'll apply the dot on the person that tags in or gets knocked out. Or if it'll do it on the person that's in. It's very interesting to see the knockout capabilities. So now we're going to upgrade the Black Diamond and evolve it. So you get that new property, and it's called the Heart of Darkness. So up to 20% damage, if you have 50,000 damage, they will tag out for 10,000. There's also some potential synergy with um, uh, Antimatter Sinestro, because it's a force tag out. We'll have to see if that mechanic works too. So, maxing the gear item out, we should have enough shards without having to shatter anything else. But I really like this gear item. It seems like a fun gear item. It seems like a good gear item. Unlike shit like the Mother Box, which is just annoying. So, fully maxed out, 30% damage to special 2, 6% dot, which also drains power. And I wonder if the dot is over time. I would rather have that, especially when you're running a power drainer. Power generation increase, 30%. It 
And if an opponent tags out, they receive damage equal to 20% of the equipped character's damage. So this is the gear item fully maxed out. I'm really excited to try it out. So, we've got a couple scenarios. We're going to do one battle multiplayer matches to try out some mechanics. So, normally with Ares, you would run uh, Rasha Will Scimitar. Ares. But we're not going to try that in this case. So, we are going to use the Heart of Darkness. We're going to use the Ibisic. And we are going to use Ares' gear right on the Blade of the War God. So, Ares. we can't have Ares in first. Let's throw in Batgirl, and she should be fully Batgirl. geared up. Yes, she is. Uh, let's throw in Arkham Knight Batman for a fight. Let's Batman. just throw on double LexCorp. And the Heart of Darkness does work really well with LexCorp as well, because it is a damage boost of special, too. So if you're running two-piece LexCorp, Heart of Darkness is a great substitute to the Ibistic. Like, for example, with uh, Emerald or Red Sun Green Lantern. If you're using two-piece LexCorp and you don't have the Scarecrow Mask, the Heart of Darkness is amazing because now your Special 2 is going to do more damage and you're going to heal a little bit more. So we're going to show off a couple scenarios. Again, we're just going to throw all LexCorp. Well, we're not going to throw the gloves. Let's throw two-piece LexCorp and we're going to throw the Ibis stick on. So Batman. Arkham Knight Batman is going to be our tank. Batgirl is going to do supplemental special damage and Ares will just melt people. So... The whole point of this is we're going to just kind of try to stall out. Looks like we're facing a similar team, so this could be interesting with Arkham Origins Batman. He won't start at three bars. Raven doesn't do a whole lot of damage, so he should be okay. And already start with the Soul Crush. Let's just soften up Raven. Let's get off the Dark Knight and get rid of it right away. Alright, so Wind Avenger gets blocked and doesn't do much. So we're going to wait for Ares to get to two bars. I kind of want to see the type of damage that it does. Ares is in. There's the God Snap. It's for 106,000, and there's Tag Out damage, but it got healed right back up. So unblockable means that Batgirl is just going to destroy their Batgirl. Fortunately, we didn't get a crit, but still unblockable because of Ares' special, too. That was kind of a weird jumping mechanic. I don't think I saw extra damage, though. You have to check the tool to find out. Or you just wait until Ares gets to a special two because there's no healing and do another one. Not a fair example to test out the power drain. Yeah, 106,973 damage. Although I think the only modifier is that gear item because we're using Ares' gear item and that diamond. And the League of Assassins Adept or the Yeah, League of Assassins Adept Mice don't actually increase the damage, so that might Ares. actually be right. Oh yeah, because Batman took it back. So that is 30% damage. Ares. That spec does 93, so that's actually about right. So yeah, by taking the Ibisnik off, I lost that damage. Derp. Ares. Batman. Alright, so let's throw a different gear item on Arkham Knight Batman. We probably should throw the gear on somebody else because it's not a good representation to use it. Let's just throw a Prometheum Longsword on. Let's do another single fight. Batman. And let's make sure the damage stacks. All right, so we have Beyond here with an Apocalypse Dark Side, Crypto Lex Luthor, and Rebirth Raven. Begin. He's gonna start off with Omega Blast. I don't know why these guys are starting with one bar of power. <laughs> Getting Power Drain Reverse. Let's get off an Arkham Assault. 
That's gonna do some good damage with Pocket with Dark Side. Takes out almost all of his health. <laughs> now let's get off the God Snap. 120,000 damage. So I don't think you get the straight 30% damage. Which is unfortunate. After his dark side goes down, and this fight is pretty academic, so I don't think the damage is actually stacked, which is unfortunate. You still get an increase in damage. It's not anything that's going to be ridiculous. I imagine a Luchador Bane is going to be even more annoying, because you don't have to put the Ibis stick on him, and you can actually use it with your Batgirl. So that could be some good synergy, as Arkham Knight Batman gains a level 57, 5,000 battle points, 900 credits. Alright, so let's try to use a scenario where we're going to be using a lot of specials. So let's actually fire up our Red Sun team. So we're going to use Red Sun Wonder Woman. We're going to use Red Sun Superman. And we are going to use... Red Sun, Green Lantern. Now, we're going to be doing things a little bit different in this fight. Green Lantern. Because we're not going to have any healing on Special 1, so we're going to be relying Green on Lantern. all the dot damage. Superman. In we could actually just go all dot damage, although we lose blocking. I think I want to try that. Let's do Heart of Darkness, Lex Corp, and the Ibis Stick, and let's see how much burn we can actually get, because this is actually going to apply a dot as well. Superman. Green Lantern. Or Green Lantern. Just throw on a ghetto blocking gear and let's throw on Dark Side's headpiece or chest plate. Green Lantern. So the whole point of this fight is we're going to be testing special ones. We don't have the League of Assassin's Death Knives. This is actually worse than that. Although, super wild. These guys have no health. Probably not a good test for this. Begin. Normally you don't run Lexbo Pellet, but I want to test out the burn damage. Okay, that's a good representation. Actually burning pretty quickly. So if you have a high power generation team, it might work pretty well in Survivor just having somebody with massive burn. Like that. We're overmatched. And it does power drain somewhat over time. Why are we doing no tag out damage? Did you guys see that? So we're gonna take that. He goes down. Had enough? Shazam's gonna go off the power of Shazam, but it's not gonna be a big deal because we're just gonna grind him out. But the other scenario I want to test out is the tag out mechanism. We don't really defend that, but it doesn't do much damage. We're gonna test out the tag out mechanism with antimatter senescence. You're not up to this. So we're gonna try to get some. A power on him as well. 12,480 XP. 5,000 battle points, 900 credits. Alright, so we're going to test out the whole tag out mechanic next with Antimatter Sinestro. So the way you probably want to gear him if they're using the Heart of Darkness because. Opponent tags out they receive damage equal to 20% of the character's equipped damage. Now, a gear item like Soul Taker's Sword will amplify that as well, but I reckon with a gear item like this, you probably want to have a bunch of power generation like the League of Assassin's Death Knight's Ibis Stick make your special ones hurt. The only thing that really so hurts covers this is if you have double Lexcorp and power drain. So let's just roll with this same team, because we're going to get more power generation with Antimatter Sinestro. We have a Suicide Squad Deadshot, Suicide Squad Harley Quinn, and Rebirth Jessica Cruz. Let's see how this tag out mechanism works. Let's try to get Sinestro to two bars Again. first before we do any of that. Again, this is something you don't want to try at home. This is just experimenting. Our Coyer does a little bit of damage to anti matter Sinestro. Alright, let's test it. So he's gonna get tagged out. It does all uh, his area damage from the League of Assassin's Death Knights. That's the cruise gets wiped out. 
Yeah, I think the League of Assassin's Death Knights is a bad example because you just do too much damage. But the Power Drain seems to be useful. Obviously, if the opponent goes to one health, it's not going to trigger. But yeah, let's take off the League of Assassin's Death Knights and try that again. Because, yeah, that's not a good representation of the um, tag-in damage because everybody's taking damage. Sinestro. Let's take off the knives. Let's throw the Enchantress gear in just to make it more annoying. And we're going to do the same fight again. All right, this should be an interesting one. We can definitely uh, get some power off the Joker because he doesn't do much damage. Somebody on their team has Lex So the League of Assassins two piece no longer works. I'm afraid. There is no tag out damage that I saw. It seems like that mechanic doesn't work for forced tag outs. Holy crap, that did some damage. Yeah, so I did not see tag out damage at all, and if it was, it was very minor. So that mechanic seems horrible. The dot power drain is okay on a burn team. You can definitely make use of it. It's just another dot, so you can keep your uh, LexCorp helmet on with the Ibis stick. I think it is a better item than the Astro Harness. Once the Batman is going to do some damage. Alright, so Blackest Knight Batman is gone. Now we just have Batman to do it. Thought you were a warrior. Most of Batman will not stun because of the red sauce. Get off the Guardian on Batman. And that should be enough to get rid of him. Yes, it is. The Batmobile gives like 30% health, so pretty crazy amount. I think the, there's only one gear item that does more. Gauntlets of Azrael, if I'm not mistaken, or the uh, Riddler's King. So that's a pretty good demonstration of how this gear item works. It's a funzy gear item. It's not one that's going to win you many games by itself, but you can definitely make some good highlight reels with this. The only other thing I haven't tested officially is, does this gear item actually apply the dot if you knock somebody out? But I don't see where the tag out really does much, if anything. So, like, I don't know if they need to fix the Heart of Darkness or I just wasn't using it right. But the damage boost does not stack multiply. There's, like, some sort of, like, cap. Because you didn't see the full 30% damage, but it could be 30% of the base damage on Ares. Somebody that does number crunching, please leave a comment down below on that. But if you like this video, talking about the Heart of Darkness slash Black Diamond only upgraded and available in the previous multiplayer season. Please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe. Share this video amongst your friends and as a favorite, check out my other Injustice Gods Among Us videos playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all hot at Chono. And have a wonderful day, kids. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Chono. Subscribe, bitches!